Hello everyone. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to the city of Astana in Kazakhstan. Astana is a stunning city in Central Asia. It became the capital of Kazakhstan in 1997, replacing Almaty. In 2019, the city was renamed Nur Sultan, but people still often refer to it as Astana. The country's new capital has risen fast from the northern steppe and is already a showpiece for 21st century Kazakhstan. Nur Sultan was Astana until 2019, when it was renamed after the former president. Branding aside, the Kazakh capital is scheduled to go on rising and spreading into a city of over 1 million people by 2030. Its skyline grows more fantastical by the year as landmark buildings, many of them by leading international architects, sprout along the wide boulevards in a variety of Asian, Western, Soviet, and wacky futuristic styles. Several spectacular structures are open to visitors and it's hard not be impressed by the very concept of this Singapore of the steppe. Culturally, Astana is rich and vibrant. You'll find numerous museums, theaters, and art galleries throughout the city. There are exhibitions and events showcasing Kazakh culture and history. Additionally, there are plenty of restaurants where you can try traditional Kazakh cuisine. Gradually, banks and other significant organizations are relocating their headquarters to Astana from Almaty, the former capital of Kazakhstan. It is advisable to avoid visiting Astana for tourism purposes during the cold season, as even those from Siberia might find the temperatures unbearable. Winter in the city is marked by harsh, biting winds. Conversely, summers in Astana can be quite hot. Here is where you must see when you go to Astana. National Museum of the Republic of Kazakhstan This huge blue glass and white marble museum covers the history and culture of Kazakhstan from ancient to modern times. Themed halls comprise interactive displays and artifact exhibits, ranging from a yurt in the Hall of Ethnography to a chronicle of the capital's modern history in the Hall of Astana. Don't miss the Golden Hall, which houses several thousand Bronze Age ornaments from the famed Golden Man, a national symbol of Kazakhstan, 3rd or 4th century warrior whose gold-clad remains were uncovered in 1969. Visitors are welcomed into the grandiose entry hall by a giant golden eagle soaring over a vast map of the country. Highlights include the Hall of Ethnography, with its rich collection of objects related to Kazakhstan's nomadic culture. Also not to be missed are the Golden Hall's outstanding collections of Kazakh jewelry and gold and gold makings. Baderek Monument Nurs Hall Bulver's centerpiece is this 97 meters high monument, a white lattice tower crowned by a large glass orb. This embodies a Kazakh legend in which the mythical bird Samrak lays a golden egg containing the secrets of human desires and happiness in a tall poplar tree beyond human reach. Lifts glide visitors up inside the egg, where you can ponder the symbolism, enjoy expansive views, and place your hand in a print of President Nazarbayev's palm while gazing towards his palace. Palace of Peace and Reconciliation This beautiful glass and steel pyramid was opened in 2006 as the home for the Triennial Congress of World and Traditional Religions, hosted by Kazakhstan. The 30-minute tour, English-speaking guides available, shows you a 1,350-seat opera hall, the third-floor atrium where the Congress was held, and the apex conference room with windows filled with stained-glass doves by British artist Brian Clark. Full of symmetry and symbolism, the pyramid is beautifully illuminated and a highlight of the city. Designed by Norman Foster, it's conceived as Nur Sultan's symbolic center, and by 2030, when the city is planned to have spread well beyond its current extents, it should be near the geographical center too. Khan Shatter Nur Sultan's most extraordinary building, so far, the Khan Shatter is a 150 meters high, translucent, tent-like structure made of ethylene tetrafluoroethylene, 
a heat-absorbing material that produces summer temperatures inside even when it's minus 30 degrees Celsius outside. Touted as a lifestyle center with world-class shopping, from outside it resembles nothing so much as a drunkenly leaning circus tent, while the multi-level interior contains a high-end shopping mall, food court, and various attractions. There's a drop tower, flume ride, and 500 meters long monorail, and, on the top level, the Sky Beach Club with a big swimming pool, sandy beach, palm trees, and water slide, where those who can afford it can imagine they're on a tropical coast in the middle of the Eurasian steppe. Opened in 2010, the Con Shatter was designed by celebrated British architect Norman Foster and Marx, for the moment, the western end of the main axis of New Nur Sultan. Located not too far from Khan Shatter, you will also find Nuristana Mosque, an expansive mosque with gilded domes and a uniquely modern contemporary architectural style, and an impressive and colorful interior you can check out. The mosque incorporates elements of traditional Islamic architecture with modern features, representing the contrasting identity of traditions and progress the Kazakh people are known for. And since it is within walking distance, it is also pretty accessible compared to other epic mosques in Astana, which we will get to soon enough. The mosque is open during daylight hours, and it is free to enter. It is third largest mosque in Central Asia. The 40 meters height symbolizes the age of the Prophet Muhammad of when he received the revelations, and the height of the minarets are 63 meters, the age Muhammad was when he died. The Monument of Kazakh Eli an independent monument surrounded by some of the coolest structures in the area. The monument was unveiled in 2001 to commemorate the 10th anniversary of Kazakhstan's independence from the Soviet Union. The design consists of a tall column with a golden statue of a golden eagle, the national bird of Kazakhstan, perched on top. After you admire the beauty of the monument of Kazakh Eli, walk across another street and you will find another impressive mosque called Hazrat Sultan Mosque, a perfect place to check out next as we continue our journey across the city. The construction of Hazrat Sultan Mosque began in 2009 and was only completed in 2012, so it is really new. The mosque's design draws inspiration from traditional Islamic architecture, featuring a combination of Kazakh and Ottoman architectural elements, while its grand and majestic structure reflects the cultural and religious significance it holds for the people here. The exterior of the mosque is characterized by its impressive domes and minarets, adorned with intricate patterns and calligraphy with the main dome being crowned with a crescent, symbolizing Islam, while the minarets towering over everything in the area. You can see the mosque from miles away, the Grand Mosque of Astana. If you're looking for the most impressive mosque to see in Astana, you can't beat the Grand Mosque of Astana, the largest mosque in all of Central Asia and among the largest in the world. The Grand Mosque has four minarets standing at over 130 meters high, and it features a massive central blue dome with a height of 83.2 meters and a diameter of 62 meters, the largest of its kind in the world. If you think that these are all the record-breaking features of this mosque, you are going to be surprised that even the entrance door of the mosque is considered one of the tallest wooden doors in the world, standing at 12.4 meters with a weight of 1.5 tons. The interior of the mosque is as impressive as the exterior with the walls of the mosque decorated with colorful patterns, verses from the Quran, and prayers as well as Arabic calligraphy and inscription that is beautifully illuminated with yellow light installed under the surface. Nur Sultan Nazarbayev Airport is named after the first president of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, and it serves as a major gateway to the country. Nur Sultan Nazarbayev Airport is located in the capital city, Nur Sultan, and is a hub for both domestic and international flights. The airport is modern and well-equipped, providing a comfortable experience for travelers. Astana is a unique city that blends modernity with traditional elements. It provides visitors with an opportunity to enjoy both contemporary living and a rich history. I hope the beauty of Astana captivates you too. Thanks for watching.